come Robert Kelly. Give it up for him. The amazing Robert Kelly. Hell yeah. Robert, how are you feeling, my friend? Uh, less fat. Yes. You got you fit there very nice. I fit. I fit. Last you, year I, the, I wouldn't be able to do this one. That's nice. Thank you. This has been a lot. You got the glasses of Jerry Seinfeld's father, and <laughs> I'm curious: Are you excited to judge the roast battle tonight? I am so excited. <laughs> <laughs> was that good? That was good. <laughs> That's been, it wasn't as good as when we practiced it back there. I thought but it was, I think it was when, close. during the full performance, it was like pretty decent. Oh, it was close, yeah. yeah. Okay. Am I sharing this? We share this? Yeah, you, we share, share the microphones. We only have such a budget here. Um, there are 700,000 people in this room, <laughs> which at one point was a utility closet. So we're making do. We're making do. But I got one question for everybody. You guys ready for the battle? It's gonna be seven jokes each. You guys fucking know the drill. Battle, 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 battle. Give it up for the amazing first battle of the evening, Matthew Mitchell and Katie Kincaid. Have you guys decided who's going first? I'm going first. Okay, Matthew's going first. It's seven jokes each. And yes, and you guys know it. Battle on three. One, two, three! Thank, hey, this is gonna be good. Katie was in the final four when they did the tournament. That's pretty cool. Yeah, which is crazy, because she's normally the final four that guys fuck before they get sober, so. Uh, guys, give it up for fat ass pro shop, okay? <laughs> Matt looks like if he breathes too heavily, he'll sell you an insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're such a sad looking man. You're just a real Jake from self-harm. <laughs> oh, good one, Bronnie McFarlane. That was <laughs> Katie does improv sketch and stand up, which is proof that in this business, you have to work three times as hard just to be half as funny if you're a woman. So that's something to, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's funny, I do improv, which is there's a lot of yes and in that. Matt's just put off because no woman ever says yes to him. <laughs> uh, so Matt, oh, a sick burn already, baby. <laughs> All right, well, Matt, actually, a lot of people say that Matt looks like Hank Hill. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, which makes sense because he gets hard at the mere mention of a propane tank. <laughs> yeah, if Matt was a band, he'd be Panic at the Home Depot. <laughs> Uh, shut up, Meg. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. I will say this about Katie. I'll say this about Katie. Black dudes love Katie's body. Yeah. I think it's because her torso is shaped like a pack of Newports. <laughs> 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 Dude, you look like even your own clothes <laughs> don't want to be on your body. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so this uh, this may be hard to believe, but um, Matt is 23. <laughs> Yikes! Yikes! Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what happens when you widow peaked in high school. <laughs> yeah, God wow. just really turned on the opacity on that hairline. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going bald. Your forehead is still bigger than mine. I don't know how that's even a possibility. Oh, uh, well, it's kind of crazy that Matt thinks that four inches is big. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Kind of oh! Crazy. Kind of crazy. Good gracious. Battle, 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 battle. Whose turn is it now? Is it me? I think so. Uh, <laughs> Katie's a 30-year-old bisexual. Don't you think it's time she grows up? <laughs> you go, go ahead. <laughs> Coming from a guy that looks like he likes them young, okay? <laughs> uh, Matt looks like he's fucked more holes in a bowling ball than a woman. <laughs> Katie's got a face that says, uh, controversial new Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Um, it's no secret that I would never fuck you, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so, um, 
<laughs> Matt is Matt is single. Matt is he is single. Uh, and all the his exes have always said that, that he never went the extra mile in the relationship, uh, which I think is not fair, considering he doesn't even have an extra inch. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, I mean, fingering for Matt is just him doing his best, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Katie. It's nice to acknowledge I'm doing my best. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the last one. Uh, this is true. Katie's oh, dad. Last one? I don't know. You guys are doing too many. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm doing one more, and then I'm <laughs> out of here. Anyway, uh, Katie's dad owns a karate dojo, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Like, I, it would be nice to have your own place where you can just go get the wind knocked out of you. Katie's mom had a place like that, too. It was called The Kitchen. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, I'm, I'm all done. I'm tapping out. Matt, uh, well, Matt's actually been in a lot of martial arts movies. He plays the sumo guarding the palace. <laughs> um, so uh, Matt, uh, Matt likes to brag about how many threesomes he's had, uh, which, Matt, I'm sorry, but Olive Garden soup salad and breadsticks does not count. <laughs> We're being honest, he's only fucking the breadsticks. <laughs> That's it. All right, Gross. give it up for them, everybody. <laughs> Oh my God. That was awesome. I think they should switch outfits now. <laughs> One more time for them, everybody. That was awesome. That was sick. Oh. Feels good to get roasty. I want to start with uh, resident producer uh, Matthew G. Bandwork. How are you? Beautiful? Oh, I'm excited, man. What a star stood at night. We even got two extras from Yellowstone here. That's. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like those early 2000 JC Penny catalogs. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh man, great fucking battle, both of you. I think Katie had more jokes than it, but I think Matt had bigger jokes. I'm gonna give my vote to Matt. Matthew Mitchell, one vote, give it up for him. <laughs> Lovely Hans Kim. I love the Newports, body like a pack of Newports. <laughs> That's very specific to your opponent. You know, you thought about her and wrote it for her specifically, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use that on very many people. <laughs> <laughs> and the controversial new Victoria's Secrets model jokes, those are the two jokes that had me, so I gotta give it to the dude. To the dude! <laughs> two for Matthew Mitchell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the Newport joke, you should have said soft pack. That shit would have made it a little funnier. Hey, hey. I'm still wearing a I'm soft learning. pack of Best Buy cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> I, I was going to give it to Katie because the four inch dick joke was funny. And then Matt does look like Jared from fucking Subway. You do look like his little brother. And you look like you could be her dad too, which was funny. But I agree with Hans here that Matt's joke just hit a little harder. And then you tried to come back with another dick joke that flopped. So a floppy dick never works, man. Right? So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Matt. Okay, sorry. three for I'm Matt. I'm sorry, Katie. Robert Kelly. Um, I can't believe you didn't make fun of her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's fucking mind boggling to me. It is the top three shittiest shirt <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Just compliment. <laughs> I mean, and you got, it's good to see what the cast of Napoleon Dynamite are doing now. But I, <laughs> I, I really don't think you guys like each other either. Because it's supposed to be seven jokes, but you had 37 jokes. You guys have fucked. You're her bisexual. Um, I, I got, look, you're both funny, hilarious, very mean, but you, I think the, uh, her mom getting whacked in the kitchen really got me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give it to you, dude. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, Domestic yeah. violence wins it for Matthew Mitchell. Yeah. Hell yeah, Brandon Keeper, thoughts? Hell yeah, I like this. Uh, whether Matt uh, wins or loses, he's gonna win in his mind because he gotta be mean to a girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, finally, I'm gonna be able to jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, you look like more of a man than Matt. I gotta be honest. <laughs> and I respect that. <laughs> you also look like more of a man than Chris. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. 
<laughs> I don't care. My son. I don't care if I like her shirt, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, because I look at it as a man, I go, I could wear that. <laughs> if you were a little person. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's like she cut one of Steve Harvey's shirts in half. <laughs> It's like she's going hunting in her grandmother's upholstery. But that shirt's never been in. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. okay, guys, the roast is over. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Now I gotta say something about the goddamn shirt. Oh, I got one. <laughs> it looks like you converted some shorts into a shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I love, hey. I love getting fashion advice from all the men on the red line right, right. now. Yeah. All right, to make up for this, make up for the shirt, I'm voting Katie. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm progressive, goddammit. Yeah, because Matt should have at least ironed his fucking shirt. <laughs> this is brand new. I bought it like this. Yeah. <laughs> he bought it today because he was nervous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The shirt wins a vote. Give it up for the shirt. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm voting for you. I like the shirt oh, now. God. Oh, I'm changing my vote. Are you kidding I, me? I, Peter Dinklage wore that at a luau. What are we talking about here? <laughs> But no, I, I hate the shirt. You're right. I'm going back. <laughs> He's fighting back. He's getting angry. <laughs> Chelsea Hood. Oh, I mean, I, I'm so sorry that you're never going to wear that shirt again. <laughs> I'm going to wear it every day for the rest of my life in spite. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Katie, you started out really strong, and then Matt just had like better placement of his jokes. He had like stronger stuff at the end. Uh, and also just like general misogyny tends to win a lot. So. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> What's up, guys? Y'all did quite well. Um, I, I, do you guys, are you guys fucking? It seems like you're fucking. Because no. uh, th those talk, I mean, that's like wife talk to me. I mean, the four inch <laughs> dick. I mean, that's my wife gets mad at me. She's like, you had a small dick. Well, you guys both did really well. <laughs> Bobby already went in on the shirt. I mean, it looks like you know, uh, one of those uh, Tijuana, fucking, uh, you know, the knitted things you buy when you come across the border there. But oh, are you up. working out a bit now? Shut up! <laughs> Either you have it or you don't. We gotta go. You already stole my thing. Yeah. Battle, 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 battle. I'm sorry, I have to apologize. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's it's fine. It's no, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Katie. I thought, I thought, um. I mean, she she was prepared with. Uh, I know you're you close yeah, stronger. To think of why, pal. I don't know. Listen, <laughs> yeah, yeah, give an explanation. She got she got she was less mad. I mean, she she was kind of rolling off. It seemed more personal for you, which is uh, you know. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Whatever. Ever can fuck off. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> this is the most unhinged judging we've ever had. Give it up for that, everybody. Matthew, Katie, thank you for doing it one more time for them. They're amazing, man. So funny. Oh man. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, that was that was just like pure. And no one talked about her shoes. They were terrible. That's the worst part. No one said anything. They're, they have better shoes that nurses wear in hospice. They're fucking brutal. All right. I'm looking to start a race war. How about you guys, huh? Shouldn't have, shouldn't have cheered. It was a test. You all failed, but we're going to do it. We give it up for the very funny James Fisher Jr. and Bob King! <laughs> now, <laughs> before we start this next one, I feel terrible because there's another uh, member of our, our crew that needs to be introduced that I forgot to do. He's running the sound, uh, and he's also running sound effects. He's our very goofy, our very beautiful <laughs> Ethan Gianni, everybody. Give it up for him. <laughs> Ethan, give me your favorite sound effect right now. Ethan Gianni, everybody. I love him. He's a sweet, precious boy. All right, if you guys decide who's going first. I'll be going first. Bob is going first. It's going to be seven jokes each. Roast on three. Everybody, one, two, three. Roast. So, guys, James's vibe is, uh, is church choir director that stares a little too long at your dad. <laughs> Like, James has a personality like if Get Out had a, like a gay montage makeover scene. <laughs> Sorry, Bob just looks like he freebases PBR. Uh, 
You shoot up Hennessy. Uh, That's accurate, all right. <laughs> uh, Bob's so racist, he's missing teeth. Didn't nobody knock him out or nothing, but some of them turned black and his mouth kicked him out of the whites only <laughs> section. Most battled one of my old molars. Uh, <laughs> guys, James is the kind of dude that gets friend zoned during a lap dance. <laughs> this guy, he dates around. Uh, every first date with him ends the same way. Uh, he gets to meet the girl's boyfriend. <laughs> My bad, I was looking for your teeth from that first joke. Uh, what, your brothers and sisters? <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> they got the sugars. Bob thinks Mexicans are gonna come to steal his job, and I think that's being a little too hard on Mexicans. I think anybody in this room would love to have Bob's job. We would all love to borrow money from his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> With the dicks good, they don't charge interest. Uh, <laughs> uh, James was raised Jehovah's Witness and grew up to be a comic book nerd. Like, could you try stealing something cool from white people? <laughs> You was raised Catholic and grew up touching little boys. Fuck you. <laughs> James, you seem like the kind of black dude that has a cookout on Arbor Day. <laughs> and you look like a motherfucking background King of the Hill character. <laughs> look like you sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. <laughs> sure, what's up? At least I don't look like the only black guy that's allergic to hot sauce. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at the shirt. He doesn't season shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna take that from a nigga who thinks salt is spicy. Go fuck it. <laughs> I like congratulate Bob on getting his first TV credit. Uh, that's right. They bring it back to catch a predator. <laughs> Bob's so fat. When the police came in, he said, "Can I have these cookies to go?" Like. <laughs> James went to DePaul for college, but he went to RuPaul for a father figure. Uh, we all had a cartoon character that we had a crush on as a kid, like one to help us hit puberty. Like mine was Lola Bunny. Uh, Bob's was all of the Rugrats. <laughs> None of you are gonna sit here and act like Angelica doesn't throw it back, all right? So <laughs> bad bitch. You see he chose the white one, he was like, not the little black one though, fuck that. <laughs> you racist bastard. James got in a bar fight once. Uh, he lost the fight, but did win a Tony Award for the choreography. <laughs> it's the middle of the act for a reason. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just, you look like, look like the racist neighbor on a Tyler Perry movie, nigga. <laughs> Except you don't, <laughs> you don't like black women, you like women with black eyes. <laughs> It's always a good sign when I laugh harder. Uh, uh, I know Bob looks like he was at the insurrection, but in reality, uh, he didn't go because they said no animals allowed. In, in his own words, if I can't bring the love of my life, then I ain't coming. <laughs> oh, man. You might remember James, actually. He's been in movies. You might remember James from uh, crying and hugging Leo DiCaprio in Django Unchained. <laughs> He's, he's never been to jail, but 200 years ago, he'd be in the big house. I like how you so racist, every black person looks like I'm famous to you. 
Um, all right. Bob once uh, said, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Bob once said the best thing about looking like a divorced dad is they don't kick you out of Chuck E. Cheese when you're looking at all the pretty girls in the ball pit. <laughs> He sees everything when he's at work. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say the nigga who got a job is worse than the nigga who borrows money from his bitch? <laughs> All right, guys, last round, yeah? Sure. <laughs> just checking. Somebody has to keep track of this. Uh, guys, uh, James, I just want to tell you it's, it's 2023. You can start hitting on attractive white women. <laughs> Last week, I seen this guy hitting on a fat white girl and she shot him down because she said she only dates black guys. <laughs> mm. That's funny coming from you, Bob, because you know what? You broke, you borrow money from your girlfriend, you've been homeless before, you're a drunk, you fight all the time. I know you've done crack. You a bigger nigga than I'll ever be. <laughs> Give it up for Bob and James, everybody. Great job. I didn't job. know I was getting compliments. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, that was, uh, that was um, a little too long, huh? Yeah, you, you motherfuckers don't know how to count to seven. Yeah, that's, that was great. I do want to, I want to start with the resident Asian, Honest Kim. How do you feel about what happened up here? I like that you called him a molar with a hard R. <laughs> Mola. I uh, I love the uh, the the bad black person, black person looking like a white person jokes tonight. So I gotta give it to the white guy. But you know, all the love to both of you. Please don't rob me after the show. <laughs> give it up for the white guy. One vote for him. Joy. Uh, I being Mexican, I should just vote for the black guy right now. But I will say your comebacks were were good. We're good, uh, fucking, uh, what's your name again? Bob Keen. Uh, <laughs> but that hot sauce joke fucking just flat out didn't make any fucking sense. Uh, black people are not allergic to hot sauce. Like, it doesn't matter if you're roasting or what. But I gotta give it to fucking, I gotta give it to James because that, the black teeth shit spit him out of his mouth. That, that was solid right there, man. So I'm giving mine to James. James gets a vote. Robert. Um, yeah, I'm gonna vote for the black guy because he's black. <laughs> and, it's, safe, motherfucker. <laughs> and and he's gay. So I Pride Mark, motherfucker! <laughs> Robert Kelly said you're gay. You gotta be gay now, dog. So I was just looking at your hand movement. I didn't know. <laughs> or, or was it the long body suit he wore? <laughs> you really did wear a sundress. <laughs> Do me a favor. Can you, you can donate that to the other girl? <laughs> give, give, give her half of your shirt. I, I, think, I didn't know they made midriff tunics. I, listen, man, your first joke was fucking great. I mean, it was so funny. I wish you closed with it, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna vote for you. I think that joke was the best joke I've heard so far. That was very funny. It was, it was really funny, too, to see the racist jokes and to see all these white girls in the front row go, <laughs> Hell yeah, give it up for Ebony and Poverty. <laughs> Living in perfect harmony. I like the gay black man personally, but the but the gay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you never know. This might flush it out. You know, <laughs> it is Pride Month, goddammit. All right. 
Yeah, he, you, you look gay because it looks like your hairline was made by Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, that was good, dude. <laughs> All right. I want to vote for the black guy, but it's not February. Uh, so I'm going to go Bob Keen. <laughs> okay, Bob Keen. Two and two. Right? Two and two. Chelsea. Uh, as a fat white girl, James has been trying to fuck me for years. <laughs> so I do, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. It could go either way. Because um, I'm also a carpenter, so I'm the most... <laughs> Masculine person at the table. Um, I don't know, man. James' written shit was so good. It was, like, so great. But then you couldn't come back to Bob's bullshit for shit. And I was like, what is happening? So I don't know. I, like, feel really tossed on this. Uh, but, the, yeah, that's, I don't That's the word. It was a toss-up. Toss? Sure. I love that all these don't filthy fucks. Don't around him. Yeah. <laughs> All of you were like, butthole, butthole, my asshole. Um, James, I think I got to go with James just because the tooth joke is, as someone who's had to have a full tooth removed from their head, it's the best bit. Three and two, James gets a vote, give it up for him. Aaron. What's up, guys? Um, both of you did really well. Uh, Bob, I don't want to say anything bad about Bob, I don't want to hear about him on Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> I've never seen the guy perform, but I just hear stories like, Bob Keens knocked a guy out at a bar, the manager for his open mic. Anyways, yeah, I, I heard things. Anyways, both the jokes are really good. You leaned harder in. You guys both leaned into the racism stuff. It just rolled more off Bob's tongue when it got into the yo ma. I thought, the mo I, thought I was going to hear grape soda after molars, and I didn't, but it was going there. You know what I mean? So sorry, I'm going to give it to Bob. Okay, Bob Keen, 3-3. Three, three. Tiebreaker bandwidth. This was a fucking great battle, dude. It's like old Kanye fans versus new Kanye fans. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I like that old Kanye. My vote goes for James. Okay, James wins it. Give it up for him. Great job, guys. Great job. Let's keep it moving. These are two newcomers on the scene. You guys ready for some fucking fresh blood? <laughs> guys, give it up for Hale Patrick and James the Joe. Hello. Oh, you guys really, you guys like chanting. You guys really are racist, man. You really lean into the chants. Okay. Who's going first? Oh, uh, the princess right over here. Okay. Princess is going first. <laughs> Seven jokes each. Battle, 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 battle. One, two, three. James is 50% uh, Cuban and 50% Arab, so that makes him 100% flight risk. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Harold coming out here late on a school night. <laughs> I know it's past your bedtime. Good one, halal bad bunny. <laughs> hey, good job taking my jokes, bitch. James reminds me of a Sour Patch Kid. Because <laughs> he looks like he keeps patches of kids. <laughs> Harold, if you're here, who's calling black people the N-word on Xbox Live? You look like an abused Labrador. <laughs> I feel like you should be in the pound with the rest of the bitches. <laughs> Is your <there> mom included? <laughs> oh. Ethan Gianni's the At least, at least my mom paid attention to me. Jesus. <laughs> Go one there, Ted Bundy Jr. All right. You look like an Arab fire hydrant. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you look like <laughs> you you look like every vape store fucking clerk put together. <laughs> you look like bro, No, go ahead. Go ahead. Fuck you. Piece of shit. This fucking asshole. Harold, you you look like you yell at your mom for vape money. The 
the fuck was that shit? <laughs> James gets really excited when you bring up the uh, September 11th, 2001 events. <laughs> He's always on cloud 9-11. <laughs> All right. Harold, you have the face of a gay woman. <laughs> and, and the haircut of an even gayer woman. At least I was educated enough they're called lesbians. <laughs> James, uh, James has a lisp, and uh, that's why he claims it's hard for him to get girls but it's just the fact that he's a, just a piece of shit. <laughs> I may not be able to say pussy. <laughs> right? <laughs> but at least I've seen a pussy before. <laughs> and one right here. At least you can't eat it, bro. You can't. Right, spit works, spit works, baby. James. Wait, hold okay. your horses, bro. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Harold suffers from resting sc The battle's up here, shut it's up. It's up here, that's why you paid to see me, and us. <laughs> All right. No, paid to see you. <laughs> All right, hold up, hold up. Bro, way to ruin the fucking party, bro. Jesus Christ, holy shit. Go ahead, James. All right, thank you, my friend. Battle! 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 Okay, back to where I was. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Harold suffers from resting school shooter face. Yeah, you're on the list, motherfucker. <laughs> Get used to it. James looks like a lost boy that got kicked out of Neverland for hitting on Wendy. <laughs> that, right. was, that was a good one. You want to say it again? Yeah. They got it. They got it. Harold, you look like the, you have the body of a Virginia Slim. <laughs> Wait, I said that wrong. A version Slim. Last joke. Last joke? Last joke. James's comedy is a lot like slam poetry. It's a lot of words put together, and none of it is good. <laughs> Guys, Harold loves hentai. <laughs> what? <laughs> what up, motherfucker? No, hold up. I'm only, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. But none of y'all will doubt that for a fucking second. All right, give it up yeah, for that. Thank you, man. Great job, guys. Okay, as your teacher, I'm giving you a C minus. Now, that was uh, that was pretty good. Uh, I think some somebody almost killed all of us. I think someone, <laughs> someone's Guess mad that this wasn't a more violent affair. Okay, I do want to get first thoughts from Joey Via Gomez. What did you think, my friend? I'm voting for that motherfucker that got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> He took one for the fucking team, yo. Yeah. No, but for real, <laughs> both, I, I, I gotta give it to Harold, man, because he was coming, like, he looks like people fuck with you and you didn't take that shit in school, man. So I gotta give it to you, man. Like, like you, you didn't let, you, didn't, you were coming back quick at him, man. Like, he got you with the lesbian joke, with the haircut and all that, but the Bad Bunny shit was funny. And both of you need some new gym shoes. I'm gonna tell you that right now, both of you. <laughs> Got some busted ass Nikes, man. But uh, Harold's got Harold got my vote for this one, man. Joey is off the list. Harold gets one vote. Robert, um, you're you're a you're a man. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. That's fucking wild. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, like I don't, I don't real, like no, right? no, no, not a they them, you like he okay, did. Okay, really, yeah, yeah, no yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I, didn't I know. Fuck it. You're adorable. I know. You're fucking. <laughs> I want one. I want one. I want one. I, I do, Man, we can get one of these for Robert, right? <laughs> Take it out of his cut. Yeah. <laughs> we booked Harold for non-binary representation on the show. <laughs> That's fucking. Wild. No, you. You are very. Dude, your confidence is killer, dude. But I'm gonna vote for you because I support autism. Yeah. So, 
I'm gonna throw one to them. them. Yeah. <laughs> one throw for autism. Give it up. I thought you guys were great until your third joke. <laughs> you guys started falling off, but uh, I appreciate it. And I love that you thought Harold is not buying Harry. <laughs> I know. It's, <laughs> he's he's uh, hairless. <laughs> That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Brandon Kiefer is hard right now, by the way. <laughs> we know. Now I am. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It took me a second. It took a minute. Stop looking at I it. Think <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> all right. Now you're making me attracted to all y'all. <laughs> well, I'm progressive now. Uh, I need to leave. Um, <laughs> D- Harold, you didn't do the that he was in a frat in Al-Qaeda, did you? No, I did not. You, I tossed that one. Yeah, you should have done that one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the Kappa, the Kappa Hacka. All right. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, I'm going Harold. Sorry. Yeah, I thought Harold he, uh, gets another vote. Clear. Give it up for him. Two, one. Chelsea Hood. I think uh, it just, yes. Uh, it's like It was like watching two scared chihuahuas during the second half. And like I liked your jokes so much, but then you were like going back at each other like too hard, too fast. <laughs> so, like there was, so the I think, Definitely just like sit in your shit. Like you wrote it, sit in it, because it's funny. But I have to go with Harold. Okay, three for Harold. One for James. Cool hey. guys. Um, yeah, you guys you guys would it started off pretty strong. I think like, you know, stick to what like you really know. Like you got a little nervous with the roasting each other like real mean shit. I think your jokes are better not sitting on so much like because when he, he started insulting you, then it becomes like, oh, I'm going to get real mad. You can't be mad up there, so there's a little bit of that. Once again, a therapy session. Shut up! Nowhere. And some fucking nerves. There's some nerves, so I got a little bit lost in it. Um, I can't believe he didn't fuck with his skis he's got on for shoes. That's like not size 15. Um, but, uh, but it got it got pretty insulting, but then it got kind of lost. But I want to give it to Harold because he stayed in, stayed in it. Okay. Harold wins to give it up for him. Damn it. I'm sorry, Hans. This was fun, man. Uh, Harold looks gay. You talk gay. Uh, <laughs> you guys look like a middle school hip hop dance team, and that's fun. That's fun. I uh, I think Harold's jokes were more technical. I think James' jokes were a little more fun. Though. I'm gonna give it to James. Okay, one vote for James for fun. This is a great battle. It was the uh, the guy with the lisp is the bully, and. <laughs> And the Nazi is the nerd, so <laughs> it's just cool to see a reversal. James is uh, w- w- James is such a funny guy. Your setups are jokes. Like you said, I might not be able to say pushy, and <laughs> it got such a big laugh. I think it hurt you. <laughs> I love the gay woman face haircut joke, uh, and then I love the vape store clerk put together joke and the patches of kids, so I'm gonna have to give it to Howard. <laughs> okay, Howard gets it. Howard wins it. Give it up for these two. Great job, guys. Howard, first time on the show. Very impressive. Oh, man, I'm feeling good. You guys ready to keep this thing moving? These two are some of my favorites in the city. I love them so much. They've been on the show a few times. Give it up for the very funny Peyton, Ruddy, and Tom Feedback! Hey, man. Hey, good to see you. All right, who's going first? Peyton is. Peyton's going, going first. first. Seven jokes each. Roast on three. One, two, three. Roast! All right. Uh, Tom's dog uh, actually had to get surgery and had rehab for four months. Tom's a real trooper for not fucking his girlfriend for four months, isn't he? Isn't that nice? Good one, Fat Rife. That was very funny. Yes. Payton's pant size is the same as an Epstein Island relationship. 56-12. That was good. Yes, they're hot. What can I say? Um, Tom, this is true. Tom once got a lap dance from pregnant stripper. Pretty cool that Tom time-traveled and ran into his mom. Isn't that crazy? 
It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Peyton's mom is actually a lesbian, and mm -hmm. Peyton was so upset that he heard about it that he swore off pussy for the rest of his life. Tom, they all know I fuck like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom looks like the kind of guy who goes up to cops and says, thank you for your service, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's, it's getting scary out here. It's getting scary and I appreciate everything you do. All right, keep it real or... <laughs> Fucking white motherfucker. <laughs> Peyton's dad is an actor, actually, and Peyton gets really excited when he says he got a role because he thinks he's going to make a sandwich. Yeah, that's funny. It's easy, it's easy... It's easy for Tom to call me fat. That's visible. It's tougher to see homosexual retardation, isn't it? It's... Yes, Peyton is fat. Peyton is so fat that he actually tried to skydive, but unfortunately he was way too fat. I can't think of something that would make me want to jump out of an airplane more than being too fat to jump out of an airplane. <laughs> Peyton jumping out of an airplane with a parachute would be like if a normal sized person jumped out with an umbrella. Yeah, once again, I get pussy. Um... <laughs> yeah. All right. Tom used to play basketball, that's true. Yeah, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty nice that he's taken after his mom, you know, being sweaty out of breath and surrounded by black guys for 3 hours every day. Isn't that nice? That's funny. Black guys black guys actually love Peyton, probably because he's shaped like a basketball and he looks like the girls they fuck from behind. Black guys, they love the big girl, man. They love the big girl. <laughs> Tom, Tom's actually lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Weight off his shoulders after finding out his new neighbors aren't black people. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Peyton has a tiny cock. I've never seen it, but neither has he. Last joke? Last joke? Last joke. Tom's uh, favorite restaurant is Chipotle, mainly because of the giant wall between him and the Mexican making his food. <laughs> has the iconic Rolling Stones tongue tattoo on his leg. That's how fat Peyton is. He needs another mouth tattooed on him. <laughs> All right, give it up for that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Great job, boys. Here, come on. Thanks. Oh, come oh, back here. That was fun. Went at a normal pace. We like that. <laughs> we like that. Robert, I want to start with you. Yeah, I'm going to vote for the fat guy <laughs> as being an ex-fat guy. Yeah. Uh, Thank I you, Robert. I'm not going to be here that much longer. So yeah. I want you to have something before you go. I appreciate no, that. Dude, you're fucking, I mean, you both were very funny. Your fat jokes were funny, but your racial jokes, I mean, he's a piece of shit. I don't, oh, yeah. He's garbage. Yeah, yeah. I'm, were, I'm racist, too. He just didn't say anything about it. Which is, <laughs> I mean, wait a second. Uh, hey, we're all racist. Oh, uh, right, right, right. No, but that was fun. I got to give it to you, dude. Very Thank funny. You. Appreciate it. We're both of you very good. Well, for Peyton, there. everybody. Give it up for him. Hell yeah. Brandon. Hell yeah, I love it. It's like if I went to go see Jim Gaffigan and, uh, and a Ralphie Mae, but I went to the thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that made sense, Brandon. I don't oh. know who does either. I got to pee. Um... <laughs> I gotta go Peyton all day. Yeah, oh yeah, that was great. Peyton all day. Two votes for Peyton. Thank you. Chelsea Hood. Peyton, uh, you promised me you'd give me those pants back after you borrowed them. <laughs> um, also, I gotta go Peyton. The, jo the jokes were just too smart. Jokes are too smart. Peyton, three. Aaron. Yo, I'm gonna go with Peyton, too. Peyton, you're one of my favorite comics. I've never seen you both did great, dude, but you stayed in the pocket when he was just throwing kind of the same fat at you, and you came at him all kinds of different ways. So, Peyton, got Thanks, it. Aaron. Peyton yeah. wins it. <laughs> Matt. Peyton. Peyton. <laughs> and Hans. I love watching two racist people call each other more racist. <laughs> <laughs> so you get hard at a Nazi rally. I love that uh, you call them racist really effectively, so I'll have to give it to you. Uh, but I do love your 5612 joke. That's 
shows a lot about uh, awareness of pants, which might make you gay. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Peyton Ruddy, winner of the roast. Give it up for both of them. You, good? you guys are awesome. Thank you, Thank you so much, guys. All right. You guys ready for your undercard of the evening? Before we do that, I do want to check in. I do want to check in. How's everybody feeling other than too warm? Are you feeling Are you feeling good, Robert? How are you feeling? I think it's fucking. This is a really good roast battle. Yes, thank you. I mean, the yeah, judges are good. fucking I'm hilarious. Thank you. I'm Most glad. of them. Most of them. And then, uh, no, I'm kidding. It's fucking great. These guys, that last one was awesome. Great, great time. You're funny too, man. You're killing it. Oh, You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Nobody and tells you that. No, I know. Nobody. You're the first one. You're fucking doing great, dude. And thank you. And by the way, we rehearsed that one. You nailed that one, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Robert Kelly, everybody. Give it up for him for being here. Hans, how are you enjoying how are you enjoying the evening? I'm doing great. I love this Chicago style format of uh, warm room, seven jokes, and just <laughs> One angry Arab heckler in the back. <laughs> Chicago style here tonight. You guys ready to keep this shit moving forward? <laughs> These two have been on the stage a million times. They're two of my favorites in the city, and they're two of my favorites to ever do the show. Give it up for the amazing Eric Emerson and Gabriel Alviso! Okay, who's Woo. going first? I'm going first. Game's going first. Seven jokes each. One, two, three. Yes. Hey, this is really exciting to be battling during Pride Month. It's a really important time for Eric. He actually came out of the closet. So make some noise for Eric for coming out of the closet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. As a registered sex offender. So yeah. Eric fucks kids because it's the only time that person thinks that he has a big dick. Off to a slow start, Little Mermaid of the Rio Grande. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, uh, during the day, uh, Gabe is a barista, but tonight the only bean getting roasted is him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Gabe is the Mexican you pick up at Home Depot when the construction site needs a lot of cappuccinos. That's who you go for. Uh, I'm also the Mexican that fucks his girlfriend, so that's a lot of fun. Dude, I'm super excited to be battling Inspector Gadget's little nephew, Inspector Faggot. <laughs> Somebody said it. Because he's a gay pedophile, so yeah. Didn't really roll off the tongue there. It's like it didn't seem natural. It's, uh, Gabe is actually, he's part of the LGBTQ community. You, I guess you could say he's uh, upside down question marking his sexuality. <laughs> I, uh, it's a bit of a thinker, that's funny. <laughs> Gabe is, is pansexual, or uh, I say Peter pansexual because the lost boys he fucks never get to grow up. Dude, Eric looks like if Woody from Toy Story was gonna shoot up a school. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shoot myself, so. Well, he's the only one of two six shooters. That'd be kind of, all right. <laughs> Gabe looks like a drug dealer, but uh, the deal is he gives you drugs and then he fucks you when you pass out. Dude, you look like you have to eat Tums every time you finish eating pussy. <laughs> Your girl's pussy is spicy, dude. I got... A little poblano in there. That's... Your girlfriend's pussy's a little too young, so that that's, is... You know. That's actually interesting you bring that up. Because I got the receipts right here. Chris, who followed my girlfriend at 11.30 p.m. last night? Me. It's, it's Gabriel Elvisa. Hey, so uh, I followed his girlfriend at 11.30 p.m. last night. He followed... My girlfriend home at 11.30 p.m. last night. I'm actually not comfortable with a Mexican talking about the age of my girlfriend. Don't you guys throw weekend fuck em parties when they hit 15? That's not good. <laughs> and he's the first one to show up, you fucking... White people generally are on time. Even... Gabe's got the hair of a cartoon witch. 
Which is weird, because the only curse in his life is every decision he's ever made. Gabe's spell goes like this. Uh, Eye of Newt, Hymen of Teen, make me the most annoying Mexican you've ever seen. That was stupid. Uh, <laughs> Eric looks like he's jealous of his dad because his dad gets to fuck his mom. Gabe, you look like a migrant that DeSantis shipped up to Martha's Vineyard, except Gabe is loving it! The wine, the food, the nightlife, it's everything he wanted. You, you look like underneath that shirt, you're wearing a shirt that says wine mom, so. I don't know, you might not think Gabe's a very innovative comedian, but he's actually trailblazing. No one else has ever done Jesselnik's act with Shane Gillis' hands and Mateo Lane's gaping asshole. Eric's oh, by the way, for reference, those are headliners. I work with them sometimes. Cool. That hurt my feelings, you fucking dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Eric looks like the first time he saw boobs, it was written on a calculator. It'd be weird if I saw regular boobs before. All right, anyway. Gabe has a hobby. I mean, the calculator boobs come first chronologically, right? You would correct a math joke, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what a fucking... Eric's favorite sex position is 69ing, because if you add up the numbers, that's the age of his girlfriend. <laughs> hey, uh, since we got Bobby over here, I think we could get the first pansexual on the YKWD podcast. Wouldn't that be great? Woo. We can call it the, you know what, dude, came in my ass last night. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't listen to the podcast. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's seven, but uh, Eric looks like he's a fucking dumb piece of shit. So, uh, <laughs> are we not at seven? Fuck. <laughs> I think I we're one more. Okay. One more. Uh, Gabe's hobby. He is a graffiti artist. That's what he does in his spare. He's actually once painted an entire train. That's right. Gabe tagged every black guy that's fucking his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple Puerto Ricans in there, you fucking idiot. All right, All right give it up for them, All everybody. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, these guys are not good people, man, but I love them so much. Hey, come on back with me. Oh, my God. That was one more time for them. That was a fucking great... That was fucking fun for me to watch. Okay, Brandon. I'll never not think of... We can fuck on parties. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear kids in the air for the rest of my life, I'm like, oh, I guess we can fuck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't write the fucking joke. <laughs> all right, Gabe, I love you. It was Eric all day. Eric all day. One vote for Eric. <laughs> Chelsea. Uh, yeah, it's just a little, uh, I, I, it's Eric. I'm sorry, it's Eric. I'm sorry too, it is Eric. <laughs> two, vo <laughs> two votes for Eric. I was about to give like polite compliments again and I just fucking voted, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eric. I don't wanna turn into a therapy session. Er Eric, uh, tight, tighter jokes the whole time. Is the thing is, this thing is so fucking mean and when it gets mean, people turn into normal people. Shut and up, show, shut up. <laughs> Eric, if you're mean, be mean. <laughs> okay, three for Eric. Three oh, for come Eric on. Slayer. That was a good battle. Matt. It was Rage Against the Machine versus The Machine. <laughs> <laughs> now we know who would win in a fight between Aquaman in the movies and Aquaman in the comics. That's <laughs> <laughs> Great joke, deserve more. <laughs> You're Both just... of you guys are fucking heavy hitters, but tonight Eric won it. Great okay. battle, though. Eric won it. Give it up for him. He wins the battle. <laughs> Hunch. Gabe, you lost with grace like a Mexican should. Uh, you had some great jokes in there. You had that great uh, comeback when he said, uh, you know, the stupid like white poem that he read, and then you were like, that was stupid. I thought that was great. Uh, but uh, James really showed the power of white racism. This is a tradition as old as time. White people 
are the best, and he just showed us why tonight. One point for James. Well, righteousness. I, as a, I was kind of like, if, I'm kind of conflicted because like Eric looks like a motherfucker that gentrifies the neighborhood, and then Gabe looks like the fucking barista that they open up the little coffee shop <laughs> in that same neighborhood. But I gotta give it to Eric, man, because you got. I, I've seen Eric fucking rip crowds up. I've seen you do crowd work, bro, and you're solid. Gabe, you're funny, but you kept coming back angry like you fucking idiot. <laughs> So yeah, I gotta give it to Eric, man. You, you look like an angry Mexican, man. You, you give give it up for Eric. No, give you. it up for Eric's crowd work, everybody. <laughs> an exemplary example displayed here tonight. <laughs> Robert Kelly. He's such a dick. <laughs> I think Eric. I mean, dude, I got one thing to say, baby. Trump 2024. <laughs> Woo! You fucking racist piece of shit. You guys are very funny. Both of you are very funny. But he put you on tilt for one. He did one joke, and then you did that. You just were like, yeah, well, fuck you, too. And it was like, but I got to give you both. We're very funny. And you put the crowd on edge where they should be, going, oh, go fuck yourselves. It was very funny, <laughs> fucked up jokes. And you guys did great. So give it up for these two pieces of shit. Amazing. Love you guys. Are you guys ready for your headlining battle of the evening? You guys have been here before. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you a second time, but I need way more. Are you guys ready for the headlining battle of the evening? First on stage, the winner of the 2023 Rose Medal Tournament. Give it up for the Puerto Rican Cheetah! God. Tito's dressed up for court later. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Very nice. Tito, how are you feeling, buddy? You just fucking went through an entire bracket, a full month of roast battle every week and won the whole thing, and now you're coming for the title. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is a good crowd. You guys feeling it right now? Let's go. Let's go. His demeanor is going to change once the battle starts, I promise. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. And right now, the reigning roast battle champion. She just went down to South by Southwest over the over last summer to roast battle. She also roast battle at the main stage at the comedy store. We love her current champion, Jessica Misra. <laughs> oh. Jess is here. Jess, you're defending your title. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Okay, they're too polite right now and I don't like it. <laughs> well, we're gonna get mean all together. Battle, 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 battle. Okay, guys. Okay. I have a coin. I'm gonna flip and we're gonna see who's gonna be going first, okay? okay. Do you know what's coming? Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's a dime. I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, Rose Battle had some budget cuts. <laughs> uh, heads. Heads? Heads it is. All right, I'll go, sec I'll go second. Okay, you're going to go second? Yeah. She's going second. Three rounds. Five jokes each first round, second round, minute full. And then if we go to a third round, five more jokes. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Rose! <laughs> Look at this live action Starbucks logo. I swear to God, when you order a drink, it comes with a swarm of locusts. Okay, um, look at your outfit. <laughs> you look like Tim Burton is remaking Coco. <laughs> at least I got a job. Yeah, you have a lot of jobs. <laughs> Give it up for Jessica, she just got married. She actually got married about a week ago, so tonight's her honeymoon because her husband asked that she get fucked by another dude. So here we are. Um, sex with Tito's like Lollapalooza. Too many high schoolers. Dude, you have the sex appeal of a bonsai tree. 
Hey, you're small, you're bushy, and you're probably 100 years old. I mean, yeah, I'm hairy, but at least my pubes are on my vagina and not my head. <laughs> Her name's Jessica, and she's from Iowa, and she likes indie rock. How are you so whitewashed, but you look like your hoobas stank? <laughs> Seriously. Go. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna save you. <laughs> Tito actually, he loves music too. He likes house music, except when he listens to it, it's like a one bedroom apartment with a roommate music. <laughs> Dude, I. Dude, I feel like I'm battling a children's book. Cause Jessica looks like the lion and the witch fuck the wardrobe. You look like you shop at LL Ferngully. Oh, damn. Um, Tito, I actually think somebody's outfit says a lot about them. And your screams, I do not wear condoms. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Jessica, you look like you graduated from the Smithsonian. You look like you're on display with your family around a fire celebrating the hunt. All right, cool. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um, I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, we, can cut, you, we, we can cut it there. First <laughs> round, give it up for him. <laughs> Joke. You have a joke? Yeah, I have a joke. One more joke? All right, one more, one more joke, because, you know, he started. Really okay, uh, you look like the, the son that Will Smith never talks about. <laughs> <laughs> just, on the <laughs> just on the edge of every photo, like, hey, remember me? <laughs> All right, give it up for them, everybody. Just <laughs> hearing that? I think one of those microphones is a little too loud. But one more time for them. These guys are fucking crushing it. First round in the bag. That's awesome. It wouldn't be roast battle if there wasn't microphone issues. I want, they're, I think they're deciding together who the winner is. I do want to get first thoughts though from Chelsea. I think it's just uncomfortable for everybody to watch a man go against a woman with the hair he wished he had. Um, you know, it's awkward. Um, but I have to give it to Jessica. Jokes were just solid. Okay, Jessica, one vote. Eric. I'm gonna give it to Jessica too. Um, I didn't get a lot of your jokes, dude. Just maybe because I'm dumb, but uh, it just I, it, they fell flat, and I, she was more prepared. Thanks. Okay, two for Jess. Two for Jess. Come on, we're still here. Matt we My power. I'm gonna. I think the fern goalie joke deserved more than it got. I'll say that. But at the end of the day, my vote's for Jess. Okay. I'm excited, Jess, for the next round. I'm excited for the next round. I'm excited for the next okay. round. Okay, Hans. I uh, I I, th I thought that Jessica obviously won, and uh, she had better comebacks, and uh, it, like you didn't even have to do anything. He just sort of fell apart, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you were you were sort of there, and had hilarious jokes. Why not? Why not just add insult to injury? So yeah, obviously Jessica. Uh, Jessica wins it, give it up for her. First round. Got another round. Joey, do you have thoughts or were you peeing? Man, I went to go take a piss, man. This is a long ass show, it's but I'm gonna give show. it to, from the two jokes I heard in the beginning, I give it to Jessica. Cause Tito, you my boy, man, but she was like confident as fuck. And, and I had to piss, man. I got Jessica. Man. Okay, Jessica wins the first round, give it up for her. We're, wipe, we're wiping the slate clean, guys. Second round, one minute each, uninterrupted. It's starting with Jess. Battle, 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 battle. Three, two, one, roast. <laughs> um, well, it's uh, great that Tita could take some time out of not being booked to be here with us. <laughs> yeah, you look like Johnny Depp went to his first quinceañera. <laughs> You're looking good, Pirates of the Puerto Rican. <laughs> um, Tito, Tito fucks raw, and he likes to fuck what, in his own words, are spooky bitches. Um, that's just a recipe for herpes. <laughs> 
I bet his dick looks like a crunch bar, just bumpy up and down. <laughs> um, Tito, you look like you masturbate solely to WNBA games. <laughs> Am I good? Okay, I can't. There you go. Yeah, I'm good. Just go give it up for her. I find it funny that she always calls me a pirate. Bitch, you look like the girl that's carved in front of the boat. <laughs> and, that bo and that boat's called the SS Sigourney Beaver. The fuck out of here. Look at this overgrown burlap sack of Jawea. Dude, the reason you're the only pretty girl in the room is because you handed the other ones a poisoned apple. <laughs> Jess, why do you always dress like you're on your period? Jess is a nerdy prude with owl eyes. When she gives head, she counts off. One, two, three, three. chomp. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Jess, you look like NPR fucked a janitor mop. Last joke? Uh, that's it. All right, give it up for them, everybody. Okay. We got a battle. That was fun. And kind of sexist. <laughs> but fun. I do want to get first thoughts from Aaron. How are you? Thanks. I've done so well so far. Uh, <laughs> really good period joke that you went in hard with it. So I, I think the nerves and the defensiveness, I'm going to give it to Jessica again. Okay. It, it seems like it comes across. It. <laughs> okay. Uh, Psychologically speaking, Jessica wins the first <laughs> vote. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't get mad at him. <laughs> You're the one talking. I'm hot. <laughs> Okay, this is getting bickering really quickly. But Bamward. I don't fucking know, did I? Jessica is more consistent, but Tito had the highest tie. I'm gonna give this round to Tito. Oh yeah, Tito gets a vote. The crowd seems to agree. Hans. Love how specific the jokes are for Jessica. She, uh, you know, has a very unique look and you're really nailing her. I really believe that uh, you do like spooky bitches. <laughs> I gotta give this one to Tito. Okay, two for Tito! There we go. Joey. Uh, Tito, you got you got her with the period joke. You got the hardest laughs. You got her with the Puerto Rican, the Caribbean, the Pirates of the Puerto Rican shit, which is funny because he does dress like he's about to go fucking sailing and dancing at the same time and shit. But just... I gotta give it to Tito, cause being married and my wife, when she's on her period, she dresses like that, so she don't take no shit. So I gotta give it to Tito, just cause it didn't big laughs on that one, man. Okay, three for Tito! Bobby. Um, I, I, I think it was a great round for Tito, but I didn't get the joke about the hot chick on the front of the boat, which is kind of a compliment. Uh, I'd fuck her. <laughs> um, and I like, I do. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do want to kind of fuck a spooky bitch, too. Like, I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. And I'm afraid of ghosts, so. But I don't, I mean, the, but you, I, I, I didn't get to say on the last one, too, I think I'm going to give it to Jessica because the last one was so precise. And you said shit about his hair. His hair does look like a cake. <laughs> like. <laughs> so I think, I mean, it's nice. I know, I have no hair, but it does look like, is that cake or is it hair? But, <laughs> but I'm going to give it to Jessica. I'm going to have to give it to Jessica on this one. So. Three, two. Jessica gets a vote. Give it up for her. Yes. Brandon. All right. Tito, I wish you wrote this little when we went against each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're doing terrible. Uh, but I love you. Like, you need to step it up. I want to see the third round. I'm voting for you this round because of that one goddamn joke. But step it up, goddammit. <laughs> step it up, goddammit. We're going to a third round. Hell yeah! <laughs> round. Oh, yes. Chelsea, final thoughts. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to join in Aaron's psychological approach in this one. And Tito, I just want you to like fucking get your bearings and lay into her a little bit. She looks way too fucking happy right now. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to a third round. It's the last round of the evening. We've been here a while, right? <laughs> we're gonna fucking finish it right, right? <laughs> third round, five jokes each. Battle, 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 battle. One, two, three! <laughs> Look at this koala Harris right here. <laughs> she looks like the vice president of a glee club right now. <laughs> Seriously, you suck. Good one, West Side Horny. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tito is actually multilingual. He speaks English, Spanish, and then some third language where he ends and begins every sentence with the word bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is uh, Jess is racially ambiguous. Uh, her dad's Indian and her mom's German, and her favorite yoga pose is the downward swastika. <laughs> yeah, that's why she sticks twenty of her hands up in the air. How many modelos did you have? <laughs> um, Tito, <laughs> what? A few years ago, the Megabus stopped service to Chicago and everybody was super sad, but not Tito, he was homeless. <laughs> Just as a... Uh... That guy, that guy. <laughs> Just as actually... Uh... Shut up. <laughs> Jess is actually pretty popular online, you know? Uh, if you've actually seen any of her videos, you know that you got seven days to show it to somebody else. Because <laughs> if you don't, she's gonna come out of your bathtub and change her pronouns. Uh, we look the same. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, uh, so... <laughs> So uh, Tito has a small store on Amazon, uh, and then he also manages a property. He drives for Lyft, so he is collecting unemployment checks. <laughs> Thank you, Weird Al Brockovich. <laughs> Jesus. I will take that from you, Lenny Spazitz. <laughs> All right there, Selma Hijack. Fuck out of here. Seriously, you got the hair of a comedian, but the body of an accordion. What the fuck is going on? Well, you look like if The weekend was a lesbian. Jesus Christ. Uh. <laughs> Jessica used to be a model. Uh, actually, you can catch her on display at the Field Museum. <laughs> yeah, she's there with her whole family around a fire. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, so Tito has a, has a really, you know, I'm very impressed by Tito. He has a nice degree. He had the best education growing up, a loving, supportive family. It's incredible how little he's done with so much. <laughs> Jessica, you look like if the Little Mermaid was played by the net that killed her family. <laughs> you look like Moana, fuck the seaweed that washed ashore. All right, that's cool. Should I even do one? <laughs> oh man, no one can roast you like you. <laughs> oh. Actually, Tito, a lot of your jokes remind me of the Marvel franchise, because, you know, I keep thinking it's over, but it just keeps going and going. <laughs> and I don't want to hear another one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're done, right? One more. Oh. Is that it? You good? Yeah. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for them, everybody. One more time for them, everybody. Three fucking rounds of jokes. It's 3 a.m. or whatever. 
We're here doing it. Okay, we're gonna actually start it off with Matt here. Oh, man. It's past Tito's bedtime. He sounds fucking tired, dude. <laughs> She just used like fucking crazy on stage. She's like yelling, fucking jumping around and shit. You had way too many fucking Modellos tonight, man. <laughs> Show went late. He fucking ran up a tab. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Jess. Great fucking battle. You guys were fun. Okay, Jess gets a vote. <laughs> Love the Weird Al Brockovich Selma Hayek back and forth. That was fire. Um, Love the that you called him uh, the weekend if he was a lesbian because the weekend already looks like if he was a lesbian. <laughs> But uh, Jessica, your comebacks are amazing, and your jokes are amazing too, and you won that round, in my opinion. Thank you. Okay, Jess, too. Uh, Tito, man, I, I ain't gonna lie, man, I was expecting a lot more from you, you being like one of the champions, and, and I was expecting you to be a lot more coked out or some shit, but you had a lot of Morenos. <laughs> you had some good ones, man. The Selma Hijack was, was solid, and the Aaron Brockovich one was solid. But Jessica's comebacks were, were fucking tight, man. You, you were getting them. You were unfazed. Confidence was tight. So I got to give it to Jessica on this one, man. Jess, three votes. <laughs> Sir Robert Kelly. Uh, Jessica, you were unfazed. Your fucking jokes were great. Uh, your confidence is awesome. You're smiling the whole fucking time. And Tito, you look good. <laughs> That's all I have to say to you. Give it up for Tito's You're outfit. Fantastic. You look fantastic. But give it up to Jessica Mizra. <laughs> retains her title. Roast Battle Champion. Great job. Great job. That was good. Stay up here. I do want five. That was awesome. I want thoughts from Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Tito came so much harder at me than he did her. Like, I, yeah, I'm, I am angry about it. But Tito, I love you, brother. But Jessica, you're the champ. Jessica's the champ. Give it up for her. Chelsea. I'm just glad that you were finally the one to acknowledge that you two look the fucking same. Like, it had to happen. Okay, the same, Aaron. Tito, you know, for a second, I thought you were going to nail it in there. I think I got lost on the Disney references of the shit with the fire and the thing with the boat. It came back to that, so it kind of stayed on the one note. Jessica, you're just super tight with it and came, came hard every time. Jessica. Can we start with Aaron next time? <laughs> You want to ride home or not? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Guys, give it up one more time. Nothing Jessica so Mizra, good. current retaining title roast battle champion. And one more time for the amazing Tito. <laughs> fucking awesome, man. Love him. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. This has been Roast Battle Chicago. How are you feeling? <laughs> Guys, this has been one hell of a night. I want one more shout out from our amazing panel, Matt Banwert. The amazing Hans Kim, who will be at Zany's all weekend if you want to see more of him. We got Joey Villa Gomez taking a selfie. <laughs> Give it up for Joey. We got Brandon Kiefer, Chelsea Hood, Aaron Putnam, and our special guest, the incredible, the legend, Robert Kelly, everybody. This has been Rose Battle Chicago. Y'all be safe, man. Have a good night. <laughs>